Galaxies come in all shapes and sizes, and while several hundred billion galaxies are estimated to be in our universe, only one of them is home to Earth. Our planet and its sun lies in one of the Milky Way's spiral arms, but while special to us, our sun is just one of around 100 billion other stars in the galaxy. So in order to better understand the Milky Way, its past and its future, the Gaia spacecraft has been surveying the skies since 2014, and it will make up to 70 observations on average for each star over the five-year mission. The first date of release in 2016 charted 1 billion stars, but only included the distance and motions for 2 million. The second release has now updated this to an extraordinary 1.7 billion and with greater accuracy, including the distance and motions for nearly all the surveyed stars. This new image, showing the distribution of stars in the Milky Way, represents 22 months of observations. The dark areas are not empty. They contain interstellar gas and dust and are often regions where new stars are forming. This stunning new image was produced by recording the colour from stars and combining it with their overall brightness. We now know the position and brightness of 1.7 billion stars. Importantly, as well as the colour, we also know the distance and proper motion of 1.3 billion stars, plus the surface temperature of 161 million, the radius and luminosity of 77 million and the radial velocity of 7 million stars. The most eagerly awaited result from Gaia are so-called parallaxes, which is the measurement which gives a handle to the distance of the stars. And this is a very tough measurement to be done. And we have known since Hipparchus, the previous ESA mission, distances to about 100,000 stars. And Gaia is going to increase that number to above 1 billion. So that is a real revolution. Obtaining the parallax measurement involved determining the apparent motion of the star by using two different vantage points along Earth's orbit around the Sun and separating it from the star's true motion through the galaxy. Closer to home, Gaia observed 14,000 known solar system objects too, mainly asteroids, and far away it measured the positions of distant quasars to create a new cosmic reference system. The first data release already produced hundreds of scientific results, but for astronomers across the world, the best is yet to come. The essential thing of the Gaia mission is that the surprises will come later because we make the catalogue and it is the scientists in the community who are going to utilise it and give the scientific surprises to us. The Gaia mission is expected to be extended to 2020, which means not only cataloguing more stars, but also examining possible exoplanets around them and even more surprises.